Uh, hi guys, I know most of you keep on asking uh, which are the best uh, photos for 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 green card, and uh, and I, I want to show you how you can even get your own photos yourself. Uh, if, you, if you just go, you know, to the web, uh, internet and type uh, green card, uh, green card photos, uh, you're going to get very many of those telling you visa what what but how, how to know the genuine one which cannot mislead you is the one which has this kind of uh light up travel.state.gov this is the one which is for the u.s embassy or rather the u.s gov government they use this this is the uh genuine link so if you open it like this you can see it is showing you the state department here uh the travel dot state whatever this is the role of the department of state united states of america and you can see update on u.s passports all those they, they use the same kind of photos and if you scroll it like this you can see photo requirement there and uh, then uh, you can see here they have written a lot about the, the photos and uh, you can go to that site and read but uh, you know they say actions speak better than words or photos uh no they say um a photo is worth a thousand words so what i would want you to see is uh, you can click that link that I, I have just clicked uh that's written photo uh, composition template and then you can see the photo how they want it to look like say you have your own photo that you have printed and you want to go and scan that because uh, you can scan a photo using a scanner or you can take a photo which is a di di digital image if you are scanning a photo the photo has to be a square photo of two inch by two inch and the measurements are like this see from the eye to the bottom of the photo it should be one and an eight one and an eight inch or two one three eighth inch if you can be able to measure that one you are okay then from the chin to the top of your hand is one inch to one three eighth inch so that's how the photo needs to look like it has to be a square see it has to be two inches by two inches and they have described what i've said the head of uh, the head the height of the head top of hair to the bottom of the chin should, should be one inch to one three eight or 25 millimeters to that five millimeters and likewise they have given you for the eye height uh, uh the, the eye height what? which is measured from the bottom of your photo here uh, and if you take a digital photo then uh, it has to be uh 600 by 600. i was lucky when i did mine some years back my camera was able to do this exactly i never had to take it for for cropping but uh, if you take a digital photo then you you may have to take it to you may have to use some some tools to help you to to do that in most uh the people that i have tried to help in in the past i i, I normally go to something that we call the uh something that we call the uh it's called what it's called uh, i normally go to something called um uh paint paint yeah there is a if you go to paint if, if you go to paint if you open this paint and then uh, you you know you open your photo using paint it will show you the pixels here you you, you can see these numbers trying to change here at the at the bottom but uh, you may not want to to go there because there are some more different or tools that the government has provided for people to do that first of all before we go to those tools uh here they are showing you uh examples of the photos if you look at these photos here they are saying all these photos are acceptable and then they go ahead to show like this one they say this is acceptable okay this one is not acceptable because you're not supposed to have grasses if you look at this one they say it's, it's okay and they they give a description at the bottom there so 
if you go to that site and you read take time pay a few maybe 10 shillings uh, i don't know how much they charge per, per hour in a cyber but you can go and uh, read this information like this one is is cropped if you look at the head of this guy that has corners and they are telling you that photo is cropped uh this one they say is good and uh, this one is is also good because it's not covering uh the face she's a muslim she can cover the head but not the because of the the religious uh, factor but not the eyes so grasses are never accepted since i think 2016 this one is also good and those who have been asking about kids if you look at the kids the kids have been shown which are acceptable yeah she shouldn't hold her mouth she shouldn't face on the side like this one like this one maybe the baby was lying somewhere on on a bed or on a couch yeah you can make the baby lie on a on a couch this one is blood that's why it's being rejected um i want to show you something here also here there's a photo tool that uh, you can uh, upload uh, your photo but let's click here we see what is here uh here is a uh, yeah that's where we are so i, I can go back but uh, let me click this photo tool because this is the one you can upload your photo here you see this one i'm go i can even uh, try to upload a, a photo uh and see what it will tell me and before we go there you see uh there are some photos here they are showing on this on this corner let me hold it with my hand and uh, they are showing you these photos they are acceptable you know their example the size and the position you know they are they look nice and the position the guys at the center all the people are in the center they are facing you know front then you look at this this one is the only acceptable one this guy his head is too big yeah is the the whole photo is the head the very throw of the neck is there there's nobody this girl is sitting on a corner you know at an angle you know some people want to be taken photos facing a different angle like a model or no and this and this one this one has grasses and it's the girl is too thin so it's like she was very far you know those are some of the things this one is the acceptable this one the guy is bedding and this one is forcing himself to smile and the other one is looking up to the sky i i don't know who told him to do that and when you go to grasses all these people have grasses even if the photo was nice the fact that they have grasses their photo doesn't pass don't wear anything like a hat this rasta guy this rasta guy the rastas are covering the face there is this one this one and i think that's why the photo is being rejected because of covering the face and this girl has covered herself almost ev everywhere this one is okay we, we can see the whole face because the chin is part of the face and here is another girl who has also covered her face uh, one of one of the sides then you also look look at the writing this one is dark this one is too bright this one has a shadow only this one is acceptable and uh, the same thing uh, this one has a background with the leaves it has to be a, an off white or a white background this one has you know patterns only these two are, are acceptable then you go to the resolution only the one here is acceptable the others the background is not clear the others this one is broad the two of these ones and the kids also this one is eating something and the other one is facing some you know is kind of trying to to smile somebody's make the way you tell the baby smile smile no this one is okay this must be right somewhere and then the face obstruction again only this one is acceptable but i want to show you where now how you how you'll be able to choose your uh to to test your photo whether it is it is good because what they say uh i'm taking you to this particular section if if you read this one they say use our photo tool to upload your photo and crop it so it's the right size so this all what it's going to do is to make sure that it is the right size and if it's going to reject it you have to look for another photo and it says compare your then after you crop it compare your photo with the examples of good photos so far you have to make sure that uh, uh, it fits this one or this one 
in terms of pixels yeah the pixels can tell you actually when you save it uh, in a place uh, in your hard disk or your flash drive if you take it to a computer and open the and click the just take the cursor there it should be able to tell you how, how many pixels uh, the photo has uh, the thing is uh, you still have to try to measure th these ones and that's why I was saying you can take it to paint to try to to make sure that it is a uh, uh, measuring accordingly but uh, the, then they say this note this tool is intended this tool is intended for cropping your photo only after you apply a US Department of State employee will review your photo and decide if we can accept it remember these are the same photos that they normally ask for even for green card you can just apply because it's two by two but when they are doing their selection and you win and then they open your photo they find ah this photo does not make sense but this is where you upload your photo if you click this photo tool it will, it will bring here and tell you choose photo you see like now i had cropped a, i had to put a photo here and i tell it uh, take take and i tell it uh, take this photo and then uh, see what it is telling me your photo has been rejected for the following reasons and then uh, it say image is overly compressed please use a compression ratio that is less, less than this so you you have to make sure that uh, you, the the system is going to ac accept your photo and you you have all the time now uh the we are expecting uh, green cards to be uh the rotary to be uh, opened uh, in uh, the, the first week of October and be closed in the in the first week of uh, November this year. So if you have a good mobile phone, uh, I know you call you call them uh, mobile phones. Yeah, we call them mobile. So if you have a good mobile phone, uh, you can start taking photos. And you don't need the studio, by the way. I used to hang uh, bed sheets on on the wall of my house. Sometimes I could put uh, Manila paper at the back of this, uh, you know, at the back, and then I, I, I start, you know, or sometimes I sit, I, you know, depending on how. And uh, I experimented very many times, and uh, I want to tell you that it is those photos uh, that uh, won the, you know, that became acceptable after I was picked by the lottery. So it's a very easy, easy thing. You, you don't have to spend money. If you have a good camera or a good uh, phone, or your friend has has one, pra start practicing early and get the best photo that uh, you know the best photo possible that you can get. Yeah, it's you, you should win this thing. Of, of course, it's a rotary. Not everybody is going to win, but don't uh, um, uh, lower your chances of winning or being picked because of your photos you don't have to spend your 500 shillings you don't have to spend your 1000 shillings all the money that the only money that i, I spent was uh the cyber money you know and you go there knowing that uh, you have all the information that you require the the names the date of birth so you just go there to the cyber quickly within you know 5 10 15 minutes you are you are you are done and you keep everything with you the email you know the notif the the confirmation number you know you keep ev everything there are people who after they win that's when they try to go back to where they participated or where they applied and uh, that time maybe even that guy didn't keep that number maybe his computer crashed even uh, maybe the number that you are given you lost it M make sure especially now that you have a phone you can take a photo of that confirmation number and send it to your email so that uh, even if the paperwork is is damaged or it gets lost you can always go back to your email address and you have two email if you have two email address like me i have i don't know how many i have could be having three or four i send them to different email um, to all the email addresses and i even send it to the email address of my spouse so that uh, at least i know even if i mean it will be very difficult for me to lose my information so if you have any question, just feel free to ask and uh, I, I can be able to help you to get this thing right. Welcome. Thank you. Bye.